To see Bante deliver a lecture has become a very rare treat, a fact which made an October event at the London Buddhist Vihara even more special. Bhante accepted a request by the Mahabodhi Society to give a lecture entitled Great Buddhists of the 20th Century. I usually keep the, the subject of a lecture or a talk at the back of my mind and I sort of advert to it at odd moments. Sometimes when I wake up in the night or sometimes while I'm having my daily walk. But I start thinking about it. And not long after I'd started thinking about this particular subject of great Buddhists of the 20th century, I realized that I had a problem. And the problem was that once I started thinking about it, there were so many great Buddhists of the 20th century. Initially, I hadn't realized this. Originally, I'd assumed that there were just a few, just a handful. But the more I thought about it, and the more names I recollected, the more it seemed that there were dozens upon dozens of great Buddhists of the 20th century. And of course, I couldn't possibly speak on all of them. In order to speak on all of them, I'd have to have a whole series of Saturday afternoon lectures. <laughs> so in the end, I decided to base my selection on two principles. First of all, an elimination. I decided not to speak on any great Buddhists who were still alive. <laughs> that, that lets me off several hooks. <laughs> After all, a great, even a great Buddhist might change their religion. And then they'd no longer be great Buddhists because they were no longer Buddhists. And where, would that, and where would that leave me? And of course they might commit other mistakes. <laughs> Sophocles said, call no man happy until he is dead. And similarly, one might say, call no man a great Buddhist until he is dead. That's the safer way. So that safer way I decided to take, hmm? and not to speak about any great Buddhist, question mark possibly, who was still alive. And then secondly, my second principle of selection, I decided to speak on great Buddhists with whom I had had some kind, at least, of personal contact. So the five are, first of all, Anagarika Dharmapala. Secondly, Alexandra David Neil. Thirdly, B. R. Ambedkar. Fourthly, Lama Govinda. And fifthly, Edward Konza. Hmm, quite a bunch, huh? 